Hi everyone, how are you? Hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Um, I hope you went to church and I hope you had fun in church today. Um, I'm a Christian, so I always talk about church because I mean that's my faith, and this is my blog, or my my vlog. So I want to say thank you to all that have subscribed. Those that haven't subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. There's a red button there. Please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you drop your comments because it's supposed to be a discussion. It's supposed to be a platform for us to discuss about life issues. Life issues, yeah. What's going on in the marriages, as parents, in schools, in the community, everywhere. Life issues, okay? So, I have a lovely life issue I want to discuss now. Yes, and I know some married women will love it baby mamas <laughs> okay baby mamas yeah okay so i know you wonder why i decided to talk about this but it's something i just wanted to talk about because i've heard people talk about this baby mama this baby mama that i'm like okay what is going on has our society gotten this bad that young girls nowadays are so desperate to get married or to hit a guy that they just get pregnant to take away someone else's husband. So, you know, as a married woman, I'm like, okay, any any sign of any woman around my husband, I'm like, okay, no, 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 you're not going to try that. No. So, me and my husband will have discussion about, you know, condom and everything because you're not going to bring your child into my home to say, you is my husband's child. It's not going to happen. So, baby mama. What is all this about baby mama? What's going on? What's going on? What happened? Where did we go wrong? Where have where did we stop teaching children the value of self-worth, self-esteem, and what marriage is all about? And why they have to like wait for their own husband. I mean, when I was growing up, it never it, it never occurred to me, or I didn't never think about getting pregnant for any man. I mean, it is it, it's not applicable. The only time you get pregnant was when you are married. That is it. It, it was kind of like, oh, may, maybe, well, you could get pregnant when you ha have someone that wants to marry you, but it has to be in the context of marriage, not getting pregnant, knowing that this person might not marry you or getting pregnant for a married man and now going ahead to fight for him and wreck his home. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? So the first time I heard about this baby mama stuff was, on a friend's um, live feed. Hi, Abba Boy Emeka Okoro. Now, his blog is Abba Boy for Life, and his name is Emeka Okoro. He's an American young man, an entrepreneur who is doing well in America. He's young, he's single, not married yet, but he he's fighting the ill in his society. On his Facebook, on his you know live feed, he's talking about baby mamas. What is going on? He's talking about sidekicks how men now he lives in america and i'm not saying it's only happening in america it's happening all over and ma married men in his society are having sidekicks who are having children for them and these side chicks are breaking up their home and i'm like oh the first day i saw that oh my god oh my god but i hold my husband because i'm not gonna let any single woman come in between us but it's real. It's happening. So let's talk about it. It's life issue. Let's talk about it. So, a married man. You're married to your wife. You love your wife, yeah? You do love your wife. You love your children. Whether she has children or not, you love her for you to marry her. So you decide to mess around. Yeah, I call it mess around. Now, during my own Father's Day, when they mess around, the woman understands the fact that they are married. They love their family. They don't come between their family. They don't even come near home, their home. Or oh, my mom will break you into pieces if she knows. So they take it away from their home. I mean, far, far away from their home. The people I let her find out that was even going out with my, my, parent, my dad were people that I'm like, oh my God, I didn't know because they hide it. It was hidden. So American, I mean, African men are promiscuous, yes. African men sleep around. Yeah, we hear that. Your mom tells you that when you get married. Yeah, they're promiscuous. But the point is, they also respect their home and their family. Now, that is something that is wrong now with our young guys, with the young fathers of nowadays. They're not respecting their home. 
What is going on? Are the older men not advising them properly and they're not talking to them? Because you cannot disrespect your family because you have a child, a, sorry, I could go, sidekick. You cannot allow the sidekick to come between you and your family. You are, you need to get common sense. You need to start thinking. Okay. Point off my wall. You are a married man. You are sleeping with a single girl. Now, listen, that single girl doesn't only have you as the person she's sleeping with. She's sleeping with other, other men. Get that in mind. Even if she she's telling you, I love you, you're the, she doesn't. You are just a money bag. You are someone she, you know, she's thinking about, well, how much can I get from? So she's sleeping with you and other men, and you are doing it without condom. I mean, the last time I checked, for, for a woman to get pregnant, you must have done it without condom. So you're doing it without condom. You don't know if she has HIV or STD. You are at risk of transmitting such disease to your wife. Is something wrong with you lot? Is something wrong with the men of our days? What is wrong with them? What's going on? What is going on? I can't, I can't believe it. That a man who is married will sleep another woman with a condom. Excuse me? Oh my God. Now, let's assume you've done that, okay? She's pregnant now. You have the audacity to come and tell your wife, that you've got another woman pregnant and you're telling it to her in such a rude and sarcastic way. You know what? It can only happen in Africa. If it's down this side of the world, the woman will clean you. I mean, like she will take away everything because the court will pity her. Now, she's given back to this child. On seeing this child, you accept the child is yours. Are you educated? Seriously? Did you actually go to school? Do you know that babies can resemble anyone that you anybody if you want to see my if you want to see me in your baby, you can. If you want to see me in your baby, just look at my eyes and in your mind you think, oh my baby, it happens. Watch Judge Judy, watch all the American maternity um court cases. It's happening, they're on video, they're on there. So how can an educated man, you went to school, you were university graduates, I'm referring to you, a woman who is a child kick, uh, sidekick, sorry, okay, sidekick, gives birth and you did not go for DNA tests. Are you crazy? Have they bewitched you? Are you sure their parents from the village are not sending a, something across to tie your eyes and your head? Are you sure they are not going to balawo for you? You've not eaten. Hey, I think you have eaten something. No? Go and check yourself. Let me tell you something. Most times, when you go for DNA test, that child is not yours. I'm telling you. Get sense. Start getting sense. Okay? Stop being stupid. Stop, stop. I mean, I feel like just knocking your guy's head. I mean, it's so stupid. Like, excuse me? <laughs> How can you be so stupid? This girl has a, this girl, she has a boyfriend, of course. She has other four money bands, you know, giving her money. She goes around, she tells you she's coming, she's going for what program or whatever. And you, the gullible one, the one that she knows is very stupid, takes, takes the child, responsible for the child. So you're paying child support. Another person is paying child support. Seriously? Hey, Jehovah. When that shall never cease to happen in this country or in this world. And you, baby mama. Well done, oh. Baby mama. Hey, baby mama. You are good, oh. Mm -hmm. New name, baby mama. Don't you have any self-worth or self-esteem i mean if you're educated and you're working and you're making money do you need to have yourself being called a baby mama why don't you just go to a spam bank 
get a spam, get yourself pregnant if you have to have a baby, and reserve your dignity. I mean, I know that getting married, I mean, I know it's difficult, for, I mean, it's difficult, yeah? The men are not out there, but if you're going to have a companion, have a companion, but don't break people's home. Don't want to be a second wife or break somebody's home or be rude to the wife or go and tell the wife, call the wife and tell, oh, you know, it's, it's not, it's not good. Anything we get by force, karma is a bitch. Karma is a really bitch. If karma doesn't happen with you, karma will happen with a child. Karma will happen with the, your grandchildren. It goes round. Okay. Please. Don't be proud of being called a baby mama. I'm a baby mama. Hey, baby mama. I was watching um, <laughs> Linda Cage's um, clip the other day and they were singing, Oh, baby mama. Oh, baby, baby mama. I'm like, Oh my God. What kind of society are we living in? Yeah, you have a whole money. Linda, you have a lot of money. I and mean, she has a lot of money. She could have a four. I mean, I don't know her case and I don't think her case is this case because I think the guy was single. So it's a different thing altogether. I mean, the guy was. Like he didn't, he didn't want to follow through in a marriage contract. No problem. But if you're dating a married man, please, please, please have a little conscious, have a little conscious. Okay. Think about the wife. Think about the wife. Stop allowing yourself to be called a degree. It, it, I don't know what kind of a name. It's degrading name. Baby mama. That is baby producing person. Uh -uh, baby factory. Wow. Award. Baby mama. Baby producing factory. Uh-huh. You don't get accolade for that. Take him. Baby mama. And you. Hello. The married women. Please, eh, I will advise you as a friend. Don't let a man kill you. Be cool. Be cool. I'm just, 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 don't, 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 don't. Please live for your child, live for your children. First of all, every woman should have something doing. Every woman, even if it's to sell granite or akara, do something, have something doing. Don't sit down and be waiting for a man to give you money for head, money for this. Money. That is where the problem comes. When he now brings the baby mama, when he now tells you that now, you don't have anything to do because you, you are tied down in that marriage because you can't go. You can't take care of your children. But if you are educated and have something to do, you can say you can actually say to hell with this marriage. Because you have self-worth. I can take care of my children. I don't have to take, I don't have to take this. Now, look, I'm not listen, I'm not going into the angle of oh, let's reconcile. No, please, eh? Christianity is good, but the Bible also gives us self-value as a woman. When a man commits adultery or when a male is found to be sleeping around infidelity is a good ground to divorce which means god doesn't want you disrespecting your wife so don't give me the fact that oh we should reconcile you know we should make up the we shouldn't break up the home hey hey, hey. okay you are you guys are the one making them do it because the preaching is, it's okay for you to sleep around. It's okay for you to do that. Your wife is not going to leave you because she needs to like keep the home. Keep the home? Yeah, okay, we'll keep the home. We'll keep the home, but we'll make you miserable in that home. Okay? Baby mama. Okay. Please, woman, have a little bit of self-worth. Both the, the person in the marriage and the person outside. You guys should stop letting guys treat us this way. We need to come together. I'm going to advise you if you are if you're expecting the married man's um, child, please talk to the wife in a respectful way. You and the wife should be. Fr I mean, team up with her. Don't fight her. It's her home. If the man cheated on the wife, he will cheat on you. Don't think your case is going to be different. To hey. <laughs> If the wife, if the if the wife should go and you come in, do you think you have peace of mind? No, you won't. Anytime he goes out, you will think he's cheating on you. Because that's what you do to another woman. 
So don't start something you can't finish because karma is a bitch and karma is a bitch and karma is a bitch. That's the thought of my wall. Baby mama. I they wait for honor. Baby mama. Okay. If that one can't reach my area, if I don't go for DNA test, even if I go for the DNA test, as long as during my contract, I did not bargain for any other child, I'm not taking it. Now, a different scenario is may, maybe if you knew your your husband had a child before you got married to him, the different thing altogether. Do you understand? I mean, hey, that means you knew. I mean, you, you're aware of the child. So you have to accept the child. But if the mother of the child still has feeling for your husband, please, please be very careful. Even if the in-law or people are saying you are wicked, you are this, you are that, you don't want to accept the child, the child is innocent. My dear, you have a case. The woman might kill you to take your position. So, no go area, not even accept to. Your life and your child's life or your children's life is more important than any person outside. That's the thought of my world today. Please, can we have a discussion about this? If you ever pass through any situation like this, you can make your you can make your name anonymous. Tell us what, what you passed through. How can we help this this you know this young girls nowadays? Because I don't think their parents are bringing them up very well. Because if they are, they should have self worth. They should understand that the institution called marriage is not pursued the way they are pursuing it. They should actually have value for their body. I mean, we need to advise them. So please drop your comments and just down below. Make sure you subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. God bless you.